everybody, this video is all about how to deal with market uncertainty. For a lot of property investors, this is the reason that you're not investing at the moment because you feel like markets could go up or it could go down, anything could happen. In the UK, we're dealing with Brexit and so that can make you think, oh, what is going to happen over the next few years? Well, actually, sometimes you've just got to keep investing regardless. And here is my top five ways of how to deal with market uncertainty. Number one, remember that property markets are cyclical. They always go up and down. It's just the nature of the beast. And so you need to remember that if you can hold on no matter what, eventually your properties will come back around and they'll be worth the same as they were previously. And chances are they'll even go up. What you need to be doing is buying in an area where demand will always outstrip supply. And it's very easy to find properties like that because actually you want to be buying in areas where there is planning control or there's control over planning developments. And mostly in UK cities, that is the case because we have very tight planning controls. And so where you have got that excess of demand and not enough supply, eventually the property market will come back around and that's what helps make it cyclical. Number two is all about watching the big players, finding out where they are investing right now and following them. Chances are they've done huge amount of due diligence and they've been looking in an area and think, oh, I can capitalize on that. In which case, if they're doing that, you should do the same thing. Of course, you don't want to be last person to jump on a trend because that could mean that you're jumping in there as prices are going Whoa, skyrocketing. You want to be getting in there first. So if you see a number of eyes looking towards a certain area, then it's wise that you have a look there too. For example, when I was in Hong Kong a couple of weeks ago, I noticed that there are a huge amount of adverts in the local papers about investing in Manchester. Well, that's got my eyes thinking, ooh, okay, if they're looking to invest over there, then it would be a good place for me to look too. That's the sort of thing you need to be looking out for. So if the big players are looking at investing in an area, why aren't you doing the same? Number three is all about prepping your portfolio for risk. Of course, there's always going to be that market risk. We know that we're investing in property and investments are risky. That's why we do it, because there are chances that you can make a lot of money, but also chances that you may lose money. So here's the thing, your property portfolio needs to be able to weather a storm. So if interest rates rise, your property portfolio needs to be able to cope with that. So you need to be getting a rental income that can survive even the highest interest rates. So you need to be making sure that even if your property prices may fall, that's okay, your rental income can cover that and you can hold out. You can hold out until property prices start rising again and then you can look at either selling the property as the market goes like this, or you could just say, yeah, my property has made money again and capitalize on that. Number four, it's all about keeping your properties in top tip condition. Here's the thing, and it's something that I say to all of my clients, you would never sell a property if it's like really run down and not at the peak of its game. What would be the point? You wouldn't get the best out of it. And actually you'd find it really tough to shift. You want your properties in peak condition at all times. So if you do have to get rid of a property, you know you can sell it for the best possible price. Therefore, you're mitigating against your own risk of having to dispose of properties quickly where other investors would go, oh, well, actually, you know what? I've got some leverage here. It's in a bad condition. It's gonna cost me X amount to put it up to standard. So I'm gonna go and negotiate a discount. You don't wanna be in that situation. Put your properties in peak performance. And you know what? You should be avoiding the certain amounts of market uncertainty because you know that you're always going to be able to sell your property at the top of the market if you need to. And finally, tip number five, don't panic. Far too often, I see investors come to me going, Natasha, what am I going to do? Ah! Stop that now. 
you need to be thinking in a really strategic and tactical way about your property portfolio at all times keeping a calm level head that is looking at the business practicalities will mean that you're always going to get the best from a situation there's always going to be uncertainty because you know what i don't have a crystal ball and neither do you so we cannot tell what's going to happen what you need to do is make sure that you are continuously prepared so that you can always make the best of whatever is going on Look, as I said at the beginning, property investment is risky, but that's okay. That's what we're in it for. If it wasn't risky, we wouldn't be making money and everybody would be doing it. So the risk is there and that's fine. That's how we do make profit on our properties. We just need to be able to make sure that our properties can weather the storm and be okay with the fact that the market goes like this. It's fine, we can cope, you just need to have the confidence and the knowledge to get out of every single situation or sit and weather the storm. You just need to make sure that you keep calm about it. So those are my five top tips of how to deal with market uncertainty. And to make sure that you know exactly what to do, I have put a checklist below. So just click on the link and you can have that. It's all yours. I want you to keep investing no matter what is happening. Often in times of uncertainty, you can pick up an awesome deal. So it's when you need to be making sure that you are looking through the market. And sometimes it's good to take a risk because as I said, risk can pay off. It can be really, really valuable for you. I hope you've liked this video and found it really, really, really useful. Please follow the YouTube channel because I'm gonna be putting out far more of these. And if you want any other information about what we do, head on over to www.ncrealestate.co.uk where there is so much property investment goodness.